Once you have the list in the correct order, select the range of cells that contains the list. Choose Data and move your pointer to the Outline tab. In that, click on Subtotal. The Subtotals dialog box appears. In the At Each Change pop-up menu, choose the field under which you want the subtotal to appear. The menu provides a list with all the column titles in your selection. If, say, you wanted to group together products that have the same category label, you'd choose Category. Excel inserts a subtotal row each time the category label changes. Here in this sample, Communications product subtotal first, the Deception products next, and so on. In the Use function pop-up menu, choose the function you want to use to calculate the subtotal information. Here I'm going to find the Average. The Add Subtotal To list includes all the column names in your selection. Put a check mark next to each column you want to generate a subtotal for. Here I'm going to find Average only for the price, so I have to check only that checkbox. If you want to start each group on a new page, turn on the Page Break Between Groups checkbox. If you want to display the summary information at the end of group, choose Summary Below Data. Otherwise, the totals appear at the beginning of the group. Click OK to group and subtotal the data. Doing that, Excel calculates grand totals for all the subtotals that it's generated.